Hey guys and welcome to Andy's Gaming. Today I'm going to go through another overhit video um, in which I'll look at the weekly top tips uh, for this week. So I'll go through five tips that I've kind of come across over the last few days of playing and um, just getting to grips with the, the game mechanics and new aspects of the game as new events are released. So tip number one. Convert stones to shards and concentrate on dark heroes first. In the dark set of characters, you have Malpion, Glek, Demian, Angelo, Unknown, and Tease. And that's a 50% chance of getting either Demian, Angelo, or Tease. And these are the characters that you want to max out as soon as possible. So you can always farm Ash, Sophia, and Ren um, if you really want to in the dimension. Uh, gate, I believe that's what it's called. Um, you can always farm them in the dimension gate, get their soul stones, and just use those really to fuel your um, collection of the dark heroes that uh, you really need. So if I have a look in my inventory, <clears throat> you can see that here I've got under soul stone. Uh, you can see I've got a few things here, but really what I want to do is just focus on collecting three heroes at one time. And um, <clears throat> that way you can actually really achieve good results fast in getting the heroes that you like. I particularly want Tease, Angelo and Demian um, creating my core team. I believe they're the strongest heroes that are out there um, currently in the game. And so you can see here I've got an Ash... Uh, three ash shards. What you want to do is sell these off, get the shards that you need to use. They just sell all of these. Yeah, Max, go. Get all of these. This might be hard at first for you when you kind of look at, oh, well, I've, I've got all these heroes, I'm halfway there. But honestly, this is the fastest way, I think, to get a really strong team. I even get rid of the dark heroes I'm not interested in right now. And that should give me a set of shards that I can use in the shop. There we go. Max. Now you've just got to remember while um, you sell these shards that you actually have a 3 to 1 ratio. So you get one shard for every, th uh, one uh, soul stone for every three shards when you do the shop um, treasure chest, or so soul stone chest. <clears throat> I've already managed to get another copy of T's, so that's why I've only got four here, and close to getting a level 65 Angelo as well. And that's only really taken me, since I've sort of started this process, only taken me about four weeks, maybe three weeks, of just doing you know all the content each day. So uh, once we've done that, we'll keep the three that I'm after. We go into combined shop here. And you want to go to uh, shops, I think it's in. And then we'll be looking for the Soulstone store. And if we scroll across, see we want to be paying by shards for the Soulstone box for dark only. So this will take a little while, it'll just click. Spend three shards. Okay, we didn't get a good one then. We got unknown again. But you get the picture. You get good luck most of the time, although on camera I'm not getting that great luck right now. Ah, oh, there we go. We got another Angelo. And I'll just do this until I've spent all of the shards. And then I could go again if I wanted to. I could get another three. So let's see if I go back now. I might actually have enough to do one more. So I've got one, yeah, I've got three. So I'll just sell this again. And I just repeat this sort of every couple of days or so. And until I you know, get another dupe of the hero that I'm after. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go, oop, go again into the combined shop. And we'll try one more pull, see what we, if we can get another. Um, Tease or Angelo or Demian. I'll do one more. And then I got a Glek. Yeah. So it doesn't always give you what you want. So you, you do have to keep just trying uh, your luck on it. 
um, but it does pay off and I think as long as you're sort of pulling the characters that you want to try for it's a good way of really going for for the right ones that fill out your team so the second tip is focus your treks on stones gearboxes and gems don't get tempted by the catalyst with the rainbow extras so gear is what you want to grind as much as possible and stones allow you to craft up higher grade skill stones which is really really useful particularly when you're getting further into the game and srs just aren't cutting it anymore in your team so you really want to make sure that you have enough skill stones of the higher grade to be able to um, level up the skills of the SSRs that you have as you start to get dupes of those. So Essence is quite easy to come by and you'll be swimming in that once you've been playing for some time. So don't really focus on Essence if you have the choice. I'd rather get gear, um, rather get skill stones. Um, the Rainbow Catalyst has never actually dropped for me. If you have a look at the, um, the chance sort of extra that you can get out of each trek I've never ever had any of those drop so I think it's either broken or its rates are so low that they're completely unattainable so it's just not not worth it um, so focus on on those things when you're doing your treks and you'll start to get enough gear that you'll basically have enough fodder gear as well as potentially gear that you can um, synthesize into higher level gear which is really important for later in the game so tip number three, always do your five arena tickets for the season. And so if you go into arena, the arena game mode, actually before I do that, I'll just show you what I mean by the treks. So if you have a look, if you have a look here at the treks, um, in here, you'll see what I mean. So as an example down the bottom see this one here random rewards one rainbow uh, catalyst there that never drops I've never seen that drop has if anyone has ever had one of those let me know but I have never seen one come down now you see that you've got a number of gear chests I always go for those um, typically the longer it is the better rewards are in it um, but yeah focus on those and um, focus on the skill stone ones and uh, you'll be, you know, you'll uh, obviously the gems as well are important. Those are really the ones you want to keep um, keep trekking for. So with tip number three, always do your arena tickets, and you just want to play f play five games at least <clears throat> um, to get your bonus for the season. <clears throat> so if we go into that, I'll show you what I mean. So in Arena, even if you don't really like PvP, you can see here you're getting over 100 gems, and I haven't really put that much time into it. I sort of sit at this Platinum 3 level for a while, and um, you know, I just maintain that 130 gems for every season. And there's six days, uh, well, a week in the season really, six days left now, so it doesn't take too long to play five just to get that extra, those extra dimension gems. Which honestly, when you've sort of completed the game aspects and, and the events for the length of time the events have been running, you want to make sure you get as many gems as you can, particularly if you're free to play like me and you want to make sure that you just don't leave anything on the table for, for the season. So that's that. Tip number four, join a guild for raid farming. So even if you're not really interested in guilds um, and they're really not kind of useful for anything really in the game at this point in time they are very useful to make sure that you can um, you know really benefit from raids that are happening um, that people in the guild are doing so if you have a look at here particularly if you're in a high level guild um, you'll see that at any point in time and you know, if I just uh, look at guild only you'll probably probably not have anything at the moment but particularly at you know more sort of um, more popular times in the in the evening or in the morning I'll regularly see level 8 level 9 uh, Fafnir um, raid attempts and in those raid attempts I can get you know a, a 2 or a 3 spot um, it gives you a chance to enter high level raids with a strong guild player um, and even if you finish sort of second or third 
in a level 9 raid, it's actually still pretty good for rewards. So I found raids with only a small amount of damage left to do and a heap of low damage scorers in the tier list, which I can come in over their head for like 40k damage and get either second or third spot on a level 9 Fafnir and I'll still get decent uh, gear as a result of that. Maybe three, four star gear items. So finally, tip number five. <clears throat> Don't bother to do anything with the false grimoires. Just trash them for sand. That's all they're worth, really, at the end of the day. I got rid of all of mine. Um, I think you get 50 sand for each of them. You just want to save up as much of that sand as possible because you really want to use that to craft the the stones that you'll need. I forget whether they what they're called. I think they're called stones. Let's have a look. But you really want to make these grimoire boxes and you need these grimoire cores. That's what they are. These cores to make them. And you can see I've got actually 10 there already, which I didn't realize I had. So let's go craft one now. Now I've only got one uh, SSR grimoire so far. So I've got... Um, Proxies, from the SR point of view, I've got a few good ones as well. And um, what have we got here? If I have a look at this, a book used for summoning controlling demons in insect form. Okay, that's interesting. Not really sure who that belongs to. Let's have a look. So if I go back to my inventory. Uh, exclusive equipment. Oh, okay, and Edmund. I think that's for Edmund. I do not have him. So that's a real shame. I've got pretty much all of them except for him and the Ludmilla uh, ancient version SSR. So that's a real shame, but uh, I'll keep that one. It might become really useful later on if I do happen to come across him. But in any case, False grimoires, don't worry about it. They're not worth it. I mean, 93 attack, and even if you... I've maxed one of these out. Let's just do it right now. I'll show you. There's absolutely... Look, it's going to only give me another 19 attack. It's just not worth it. 675 sand, that's really... That's a lot, actually. That's worth a lot in terms of crafting cores. And... Um, if I actually go to the, the shop, I think it's the Untamed Sanctum shop. It will probably get to it faster a different way. We'll jump in here. Um, okay, if we jump into the shop, I might be able to actually craft a few already. So 5,000 sand to get 10, which is what you need to craft a real grimoire. I would just trash them all for sand. They're just not worth it. Um, and uh, yeah, don't don't bother even equipping them because a hundred and something attack is just not going to really make any difference at all uh, to your team or to your character. So that's it, guys. That's my five tips for this week. Um, as what we'll do now is I'll just do a gacha. I can see I've got 300 gems there. So why not? Let's uh, see if I can pull something good on camera. I don't typically have great luck while I'm filming. And let's go. Off to the gacha. In terms of SRs, I'm really looking for Dominique's um, Ludmilla SR version um, and a few of the newer ones. I haven't managed to get max dupes of those yet, so let's see if I can pull some of them. I would really love in the SSR side either a Tez, a Tez, a Demian, or an Angelo. I'm still looking for one more Angelo. And we've only got two SRs, so hopefully there's something I've already not pulled yet. I'll just skip straight to it. And trash, really. I've already got those guys. So anyway, luck's not so great this time around, but I uh, hope you enjoyed these tips. And I'll come back to you next week as well with another five tips as I keep progressing through the game. Uh, if you like this video and other videos that I've done, please like and subscribe. I'm regularly doing overhit content 
And if there's anything in particular you want me to cover or anything interesting you want to share with me, please let me know in the comments below. Always looking to improve, so thumbs up or thumbs down, it's all great. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. This is Andy Scaming, signing off.